Today's audience is packed with global leaders, leaders from across sectors and that bring diverse expertise, knowledge and skills to bear as we strive to balance our commitment to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals while remaining resilient in the face of competing global crises. At REACH, we believe this work can only be done by strengthening international partnerships to achieve global REACH, by reinventing student education to accelerate their development and position them for impact, and by having the awareness of the places that we occupy so that we may consider how to better embed ourselves in the communities and the projects that we engage with. In these efforts, we are inspired by the vision of University of Toronto President Merrick Gertler, who we will hear from shortly. Our work at REACH continues to be driven by students and mentored by dedicated faculty from across disciplines. Faculty that embrace new approaches to equipping students with the right balance between humility and confidence to claim ownership of the Sustainable Development Goals. It's important to note that this approach to education is non-traditional and actually it's quite special. Now, speaking of special, I want to take a moment and introduce to you Joseph Wong, the Ross and Ralph Professor of Innovation at the Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy and the Vice President International at the University of Toronto. Joe also founded the REACH Alliance in 2015. Since then, Joe has been focused on providing a transformative experience for students, not only here at the University of Toronto, but also for REACH student researchers across the Global REACH Alliance network. His vision for student leadership and his belief in the power of this generation to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals has inspired a global movement. The work we do is powered by the extraordinary people on the ground, at the front lines, those that are reaching the hardest to reach. The impact that REACH catalyzes is through our alumni. REACH alumni, simply put, are impact players. They are dogged in their approach and accelerated in their pursuit when it comes to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. You'll hear from many REACH alumni over the next two days, and I encourage you to listen actively. These are leaders that are unparalleled in their understanding of the Sustainable Development Goals, global fluency, and capacity to engage with stakeholders from all sectors. They are skilled at asking questions and translating data into actionable insights. Listen to them, connect with them, engage with them. Our alumni directory is available in the chat so you can see where folks are, although I'm going to just tell you many of them are spoken for by leading organizations already around the world. So act fast if you'd like to recruit someone from the REACH network. Here at REACH, we generate actionable insights about what is working and why. This year, we launched seven new case studies, including two case studies produced by our global partners at Tech de Monterey and the University of Oxford. We will highlight key insights from the research over the two days through brief case study videos. What's different this year is that we've begun asking the question, what can we understand and learn across a range of case studies about a particular thematic area? What do we know about getting money transfers, vaccines, energy access to the hardest to reach populations around the world? These cross-cutting insights are important because they provide a roadmap for practitioners and policymakers to understand delivery to the last mile. Now this year's symposium is a two day event. Conversations and ideas will build from one day to the next. We are over these two dates. I'm challenging each of you to pose a question in the chat, share an idea that you will take back to your respective organization or to connect with one of our amazing REACH alumni. Join us in these important conversations about how to be resilient in our efforts to reach the hardest to reach. Now to get the conversation started, please welcome President of the University of Toronto, Merrick Gertler. As you heard, President Gertler's three priorities for the University of Toronto are core to the work of the REACH Alliance. Not only that, but this year's symposium celebrates the first year of the Global REACH Alliance, in addition to welcoming prospective partners from several countries around the world. With that said, we couldn't be more thrilled to have President Gertler live with us today. Well, thank you for that very warm introduction, Marin, uh, and thank you to the REACH Alliance team for this great opportunity to join you today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from rainy Toronto. Uh, the topic for this year's Research Alliance Symposium, Alliance in the Face of Global Shocks and our efforts to reach those who are the hardest to reach, this topic could scarcely be more timely or more relevant. The human catastrophe unfolding in Ukraine is spawning or exacerbating global challenges on a massive scale. War inevitably swells the ranks of the world's poorest people, its most marginalized, most vulnerable, its hardest to reach. So the commitment of the Research Alliance to understanding how development practitioners 
can gain access to those who are the hardest to reach is vital to our success in enhancing global well-being and in lifting our most vulnerable populations out of extraordinary hardship. When REACH was founded at the Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy back in 2015, its guiding premise was that reaching the hardest to reach would require interdisciplinary learning, inquiry, and collaboration. The idea that we would need multi-sector solutions that combine insights and expertise from government, the private sector, and civil society. And that humanists, engineers, scientists, policy experts, all of these would have crucial roles to play. Well, this is very familiar ground for universities, of course. Universities have a unique opportunity, capability, responsibility to foster deeper understanding of complex issues, to bring people together from across the disciplines, to learn from each other through dialogue and interaction, and to advance the human condition globally through education, discovery, and outreach. These ideals are perhaps best captured by our students. And it's appropriate that one of the highlights of the symposium will be the launch of this year's REACH case study reports. These case studies highlight our students' amazing research, including projects published in the BMJ, the Stanford Social Innovation Review, and the Lancet. This leads me to reflect on the second premise underlying the REACH Alliance. From the start, the Alliance also recognized that successfully navigating that proverbial last mile to help those hardest to reach populations would also require a global alliance. Indeed, two years ago, the REACH Alliance announced plans to invite more top universities around the world to join by 2022. So at this year's symposium, in addition to featuring contributions from REACH's current partners at Tech de Monterey, University College London, and the University of Oxford. The Alliance is welcoming prospective university partners from the University of Cape Town, Singapore Management University, Ashesi University, and the University of Melbourne, which is now a truly global alliance, bringing together hundreds of thought leaders and action leaders from around the world, from multiple disciplines, and from across the private, public, and third sectors. In that sense, this symposium's impressive and ambitious agenda is entirely fitting for such an alliance. Let me conclude by acknowledging the visionary and vital support from the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth, which has been part of this initiative from the beginning. Their support has been absolutely vital to the success of this great endeavor. I'd also like to thank my friend and colleague, Professor Joe Wong, and his team for their remarkable leadership and work to bring this great alliance to life. And finally, let me wish you all a stimulating and successful symposium. Thank you very much.